Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we'll be working on how to troubleshoot default gateway issues. So in this activity, there are two parts. Part one is verify network documentation and isolate problems. Part two, implement verify and document solutions. So there is some background information right here, which just says all the IP address are configured on packet tracer, but you have to check addressing table to verify if all the IP addresses are correct and their default gateway is correct in order them to communicate with each other. And it's showing us the steps to use to do troubleshooting, such as we guys will making a verification documentation. Either you can use uh, a paper and pencil to draw a table, or you can use a text editor or a spreadsheet. So what you will do is you'll take this concept and draw a table and you will use this three for, as an example and you will write more of them down below so i won't be reading all of this so i will get started and do some troubleshooting of this activity so the completion rate is right now is zero out of 35 so we will get started with the packet tracer. First, we will see the IP address for PC1. Going to desktop, IP configuration. The IPv4 address is 192.168.11.10. But if you see in the addressing table, the IP address is 192.168.10.10. So let's change this out. And then submit me 192.168.10.10. Okay, 192.168.10.10. Perfect. Uh, uh, it was giving me error because I was putting a period after 10. So, and the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0.0. And the default gateway should be 192.168.10.1. Perfect. And we close this out. Close this out. If you see right below, the completion rate is 5 out of 35, which means we are doing good. Now we'll be checking a PC2 IP address because it, it all has to be related to default. If it's a default gateway issue, it is a layer three issue. So layer three is using IP addresses. Desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.10.11, PC2, 192.168.10.11, 255, and the subnet or the default gateway is correct. So we don't have to do anything here. Close this out. Let's move to PC3. Desktop IP configuration. PC3 IP address is 192 168 11 10, 192 168 11 1. Yep, it looks good. Close this out. PC4. Nope, are we trying to do IP configuration? So it's 192.168.11.11, 11, 11, correct, 255, And if you see right here, the default gateway is not correct, which is a whole different network default gateway. So we'll be changing this to 192.168.11.1. And close this out. If you see down below, the completion rate is 15 out of 35. Now we'll be moving to switches. Switch one, 
see you later champ enable show ip interface brief you will see the vlan1 ip address is 192.168.10.2 yep it is correct and let's configure the default gateway on it to do that go to config terminal ip default gateway will be 192.168.10.1 and no shit we don't have to give that command so and close this out Moving to switch to CLI tab, enable show IP interface brief. We see a VLAN has not assigned, there is no assigned IP address on it, but the status is up and up. So we will be assigning a VLAN one an IP address. So go to config T, interface VLAN one, IP address. We'll be using IP address from the addressing table, which is 192.168.11.2 and 255.255.255.0. No shirt and exit. All right, so let's try to connect, uh, ping PC1 to PC4 to see end to end connectivity. We'll be going on to the command prompt ping PC4, which is 192.168.11.11. So the success rate of the pinging is 80% because it's the first time pinging. If you guys want to verify again, just ping it again. Now it is pinging all well, which means the completion rate is 35 of 35. And with this, we will be completing our video. In this video, we have seen how to troubleshoot default gateway issues. And if you guys have any questions, any suggestions, please comment below. Stay tuned and I will see you in my next video. Bye.